In Creo Parametric 6.0, flat and flange walls in sheet metal mode underwent a couple of interesting changes. And to demonstrate them to you, I'm starting off in a part in Creo Parametric 5.0, and we'll take a look at the flat wall. I'll click on the icon in the ribbon, and then pick the edge that I want to attach it to. And with a flat wall, you can only select one edge to place it. Take a look at the ribbon for this feature. There are six different tabs, placement, shape, offset, relief, bend allowance, and properties. And the one that I really want you to pay attention to is offset. And also take note that there are only six tabs in the flat wall in Creo Parametric 5.0 for sheet metal. All right, so now that we see that, I'm gonna switch over to Creo Parametric 6.0. All right, Creo Parametric 6.0, essentially the same part, and let's create a flat wall. I will select essentially the same edge as before. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that there was a gap here in Creo Parametric 5.0 that doesn't exist in Creo Parametric 6.0 when you start creating the feature. When we go back to Creo Parametric 5.0, I want you to take a look over at the left side of this wall. And now when we take a look at the ribbon for the feature, there are a total of seven tabs. So we have placement, just like before, shape, just like before, and I told you to take a look at offset in Creo Parametric 5.0. In Creo Parametric 6.0, that's now called bend position. You'll see that we have five different types in here. When we go back to Creo Parametric 5.0, I'll show you that you essentially have the ability to do offset or not. And if you do an offset, you have three different choices. So we have the ability to add bend geometry while creating the wall profile on the original attachment edge and then we can add the bend geometry with the bend line tangent to the attachment edge and measure the offset from the attachment edge to the bend start. This is the offset option where you get a drag handle. And here you can measure the offset from the attachment edge to the bend apex. And this one attaches wall geometry and it stays within the boundary of the attachment edge. So again, we have a few other different options over here. And taking a look at the other tabs, oops, get the mouse button over here. Here we have the corner treatment tab, and this one did not exist in Creo Parametric 5.0. And this is where we get this additional geometry over on the left. On the first corner here, we can create it with a seam. We could choose to create without a seam, and then we have the option to do not create. And I want to sh show you here, you can see the geometry. Here we have do not create. Let's go to create without seam. And there you can see the attachment in there. Just want to toggle, do not create. And again, create with seam. You can see how it extends the geometry out to the adjoining part geometry. So again, we've got that corner relief tab and, excuse me, corner treatment. Here we have relief, bend allowance, and properties. Those are the same as in Creo Parametric 5.0. Let's hop back to Creo Parametric 5.0 again. I'm going to show you how the offset tab looks compared to the bend position tab. And again, we don't have this additional geometry that's created by corner treatment in Creo Parametric 5.0. All right, so again, back to Creo Parametric 5.0, you see the gap in the geometry in here because we do not have that bend position tab. And if we go to the offset tab, here's where you can check it and you've got three different options. You can add to the part edge or you could choose automatic or you could choose by value where you get a drag handle to control the value of that dimension. So again, in Creo Parametric 6.0, this offset tab got renamed to bend position. And part of that is to make uniformity between the flat wall and the flange wall. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the flange wall now in Creo Parametric 5.0. I'm going to cancel out of this one 
And let's start off by creating a flange wall. And I'll select the same attachment edge. And you'll notice when you are using the eye shape, it ends up being a lot like a flat wall with a rectangle shape. And right now we have nine different tabs on here. So we have the placement tab, the shape tab, the length tab, which allows you to control the offset from the edges that of the attachment edge. Uh, this length tab does not appear in the flat wall in Career Parametric 5.0 or 6.0. It is unique to the flange wall. Here we have the offset tab, and we have the offset tab just like we have with the flange wall with those different options. And when we hop over to Creo Parametric 6.0, again, you'll notice that the offset tab has been renamed to bend position and it's got different options in there. Let's uncheck this option to offset the wall. Here we have edge treatment. Edge treatment right now is grayed out because it's not applicable with the particular wall that we're creating. I'm gonna hold down the shift key to get a surface loop. Now you'll notice that we have the edge treatment tab over here. And so this is another thing that you'll notice will be renamed in Creo Parametric 6.0. It won't be called edge treatment, it'll be called corner treatment just like you have with the flat wall. So again, there's some uniformity between the flat wall and the flange wall with having a corner treatment tab in Creo Parametric 6.0. And here we have the miter cuts, which is allowed over here. Let me get rid of the placement references and I'm gonna select this edge over here hold down the shift key to get the tangent chain. And here you see an example of the miter cut that you can control in here. So again, the miter cuts, because you can select multiple edges in a flange wall, you don't have this option in a flat wall in either Creo Parametric 5.0 or Creo Parametric 6.0. And here we have the ability to do relief and bend allowance and properties. These three tabs are the same in Creo Parametric 5.0 and 6.0. So with that, I'm gonna cancel out of here and we will hop back over to Creo Parametric 6.0 to see how the flange wall looks different. All right, Creo Parametric 6.0, let's create our flange wall. And again, I will select one edge to begin with. And we have nine tabs here, just like in Creo Parametric 5.0. Placement tab, that's the same. Shape, that's the same. Length, that's the same. And that exists in the flange wall, but not the flat wall. And here's where we have this bend position and where it was previously called offset in Creo Parametric 5.0. Uh, here we have the additional corner treatment. Let's go back and hold down the shift key to get the surface loop. Now we have corner treatment available and here's corner one, corner two. And this looks the same as the edge treatment tab in Creo Parametric 5.0, so it was renamed. And let me go back and remove these references just to show you that. Just like in Creo Parametric 5.0, if I use the shift key to select the tangent chain, here we have the miter cuts. Uh, that is pretty much the same. And we've got relief, bend allowance, and properties. So again, the big things that I want to point out in the flat wall in Creo Parametric 5.0, you have a tab that's called offset and it's changed to bend position. And bend position gives you a lot more, it gives you an additional uh, option in Creo Parametric 6.0 in both the flat and the flange wall. And the corner treatment tab was renamed in the flat flange wall. It was previously called edge treatment in Creo Parametric 5.0, and it is completely new in the flat wall in Creo Parametric 6.0. And a big thing that PTC wanted to do was to get uniformity between the names of the tabs in the flat and the flange walls in Creo Parametric 6.0 and the flange wall has the length and the miter cuts tab. But other than that, the other seven tabs have the same name between the flat wall and the flange wall in Creo Parametric 6.0. I know this was a little bit into the weeds. If you use sheet metal mode and this is something that you were unaware of, please let me know in the comments. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.